Today I'm going to show you my new preset pack for the Kemper Profiling Amplifier. The uh, Kemper Profiling Amplifier is uh, very famous among us guitar players and uh, I own this unit uh, for a long time now and I have to say uh, over the time uh, the sounds improved in that unit because they're, I think they reworked a lot of the algorithms in that unit and nowadays it sounds really kick-ass and it can stand up still uh, or uh, yeah it's my opinion, it's the same ballpark like the leading, uh, the leading units, maybe like the XFX three or something. Uh, it's not that flexible, maybe, but uh, sound-wise, it's still kicking ass if you've got the right, right presets and the right profiles, of course. And so I was asked by uh, by my friend, which is also called Daniel, um, if I could make some presets for that unit, and of course. Um, because you know I made preset packs for all the other units, the mowers, the uh, new XMG30, Valentin GP200 and also the uh, Boss GT1000 and the Fractal Audio products. And if you would like to get one of these preset packs, please contact me um, in Messenger or Facebook, link is in the description below. And of course today I'm introducing my new preset pack which is for the Camper Profiler. So um, let's open the editor for you. It's here, and uh, today I'm playing my Schecter Banshee guitar because it has uh, EMG pickups, which are nice for high gains. Also, the guitar looks gorgeous, and I think many people uh, have the EMGs, the 81, 85, like in this guitar. So maybe you can get the best impression. Of course, I brought my Harley Benton Fusion. I don't know if I ever used this in the video, but uh, yeah, maybe. Um, if you have time. So, here's one preset which I made. Uh, which is called DK Full Tone OD. A lead preset. Sounds full and rich, and uh, yeah, I will use this now to explain you the uh, the effects chain. As you can see here um, in the input, um, I'm adjusting the noise gate, but it's basically just to uh, well to cancel the floor hum uh, when changing guitars, and uh, I'm also using another noise gate here, which is uh, well engaged in some presets. So. As you can see here, these uh, locking symbols, they um, show that um, these, these blocks here um, are uh, global blocks. So if you engage these, then they're used in all uh, presets. And if you disengage these, then they're not used. So this is a uh, preset specific noise gate, which I'm also using, especially for high gains. This is a very important uh, EQ block because as you can see, it's a blo global block. It's disengaged here. They use this usually to adjust the preset to uh, different guitars. So uh, now it's turned off because I use this guitar to make this preset pack. So it sounds nice. But if I use another guitar, for example here the uh, Harley Band Fusion, which uh, you know is the guitar which I play most of the time. 
These pickups, the Roswells, they have way less output than the EMG. <laughs> And although it sounds nice, if I would use a little bit more gain, then I would use this EQ here. And here, as you can see, uh, I'm dialing in uh, maybe these uh, mid frequencies. It's usually around the 700 hertz or 800 hertz. They're boosted uh, to create this characteristic mid, which is coming from a, uh, a tube screamer usually. Also, uh, what I do is I use a high cut and a low cut, and uh, yeah, sometimes I'm reducing other frequencies, but it depends on the guitar. So. Uh, so this is the uh, the EQ which you should use to adjust the tone of your guitar. And I can, um, of course I cannot give you uh, the recipe for every guitar pickup combination, but uh, what I can give you as an advice is use the low cut and also use the high cut and you can use them drastically, like here for example, um, the high cut doesn't doesn't affect the tone that much uh, as it would if this EQ was behind the amplifier block. So uh, yeah, this is basically the EQ which allows the most flexible boost. Of course you can boost the overall volume, but um, you should keep in mind usually the mids are the frequencies which you are boosting and without getting any problems. If you're boosting the overall volume, you boost also the uh, the bass frequencies and the high frequencies, then you can get feedbacks and also floppiness. Yeah, so this is a section which I prepared for d uh, different pickups. So engage this maybe if you less out pickups, but now we will go back to the bench. Here uh, I'm using the full tone OD, which is a nice uh, overdrive. Also here you have the high and the low pass. But I like to cut the highs a little bit, so I'm using the low pass. And of course the amp is uh, dialed so that it fits to the uh, photon OCD. Here we have a studio EQ where I'm uh, scooping the mids a little bit. As you can see, maybe, where is it? Here? Yeah, the 800 hertz. I'll compensate a little bit for that uh, mid boost. So there's the post tone shaping. Has a little bit of that, uh, or too much of these uh, 800 frequency, hertz frequencies for my taste. And here in this block we have the, the widener, which I use uh, when I'm playing at home to create this huge stereo effect. Honestly, in a live situation it's not uh, the best idea to use this. But if you're playing alone at home in stereo, it's great fun. And also dialed in different settings and different presets, so I'd recommend to check these out. Then we have the delay. Of course, in some presets it's activated for leads. If I'm using a single delay, it's usually uh, short, uh, maybe 300 or 400 milliseconds for, yeah, fast lead playing. And uh, yeah, legacy reverb, where I'm damping a lot of the highs. Which I also like when playing at home. Uh, in a live situation, maybe you could turn that off. But that's basically uh, the effects chain, which is similar in uh, all of these presets. So let's check out some of these. We have the 80s full tone feature. <laughs>
Nice crunch tone in my opinion. If you would, would like to reduce the gain, of course you can turn off the full tone. These pickups are not the most dynamic pickups in the world. But maybe you can get an impression here. Of course for nice uh, ambient sounds. And here we have one patch uh, where I dial in a little bit of a modulation delay, which people may know from the 2290. If you want more of that, uh, maybe you can uh, crank the mix a little bit more. Well, of course, we have my main uh, distortion tones, which are a little bit more mid-focused. They're similar to the tones you know from other videos, maybe. And one trick, of course, as always, if you're playing at loud volumes and you found the highs too harsh, maybe use the high cut a little bit lower here in this section. And um, also, maybe you can raise the low cut if you found these presets have too much bass. That usually doesn't affect the overall tone of the, uh, or characteristic of the tone that much. <laughs> But keep in mind, if you uh, engage this, uh, there's always this uh, mid. Although here are a little bit other frequencies um, apply with this setting. Then you have also the widener effect, which adds sometimes these mids, which I've got out of the EQ. We have a main lead. Uh, with a short delay. It doesn't get in the way if you play
course a longer delay for ballady stuff which is stereo setting. Also here I have the phaser uh, which can engage. Also, if you like this with a little bit less gain, maybe you can use it as a photo Here also the widener is engaged in a different setting. And um, then I have another section uh, where I played around with the Angus Savage profile, which I made. This amp has a little bit um, of this edge around 4K. Maybe for all you metal players out there. Comes also with different delay settings. A little bit of a shorter gate. Of course, some effects. Of course, um, you found some clean uh, patches here. How was it? As always, I don't use uh, amps and caps for my clean tones, just my magic EQ settings, so you will get it here. This patch is, was, um, was designed for, uh, well, for a single coil in the neck, or in this case, a uh, split humbucker in the neck. The Roswell pickups here in these fusion guitars, they sound phenomenal for cleans. So, maybe you could hear it. I don't know um, if it sounds a little bit uh, too quiet for you, but uh, in a live situation, I found out that these cleans they come out pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I recommend to play this uh, the split neck humbucker. This EMG pickup uh, in the neck um, 
by the way, has way too much uh, low mid frequencies. So if I would use this, uh, my uh, advice is to dial these out here in the Studio EQ. They're around usually the 250 or 300 hertz. And yeah, you can dial them out drastically. Still, um, you don't need to, to dial these out here, but... Uh, working keep in mind that here uh, overall volume boost is applied so if you engage the uh, EQ here um, the signal will be a little bit louder and uh, we have also uh, some some other cleans maybe something which is not exactly clean but I do this maybe for these uh, fenderish light crunch tones And as you can see here, I don't use a noise gate. There's also a little bit of uh, wipe here. Which is a nice feature. I like to use this when playing these arpeggiated chords. But... Uh, Per default, it's not engaged, I think. So uh, I'd recommend to keep an eye on these effects um, and engage them. And yeah, you can find out by yourself what they're doing. They're dialed in to uh, fit the preset you're selecting. So uh, yeah, these are a couple of presets that come with the pack. I think overall it comes with 20 presets and uh, most of them are high gains, but also a couple of uh, cleans and crunches. And uh, they sound really nice at loud volumes. Um, please post your comments in the comment section. If you've got any questions, of course, uh, feel free to ask me. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.